Today we're looking at how to grow delphiniums from seeds. The seeds are best started indoors so that they can be planted out as soon as the danger of frosts is over. We're using seeds from Dowdswell's delphiniums in New Zealand. We're planting them in containers. You will need a tray, something like this will do, making sure that it's got drainage holes in the bottom, or you could use individual cells like this. You'll also need a seed raising mix. Now a seed raising mix is different to a normal potting mix. It's much finer and it's designed specifically for growing seeds. In a container like this, which is just a reusable food container, we're going to fill that up to about half to two thirds with our mix. We also have a lid which is just one of these containers cut down and it's got some ventilation holes in the top. And we can use this just to even out the surface. The next thing we need to do is to put a little bit of water on here. Delphinium seeds like a bit of moisture, but they don't like to be wet. So it's the really important part here. Moisten the soil, don't make it too wet and soggy, and then you're ready to plant the seeds. And what we're going to try and do is space them as evenly as we can across the surface, giving them room to grow. The seeds are then covered with a thin layer of the seed raising mix, only to around two millimetres or around about one eighth of an inch deep, no more than that. Just even it out as best you can. The next thing we need to do is to provide a moist cover for this. And what we're going to use is some newspaper. We'll wet it down before we put it on the top. And the idea is that you keep this soil moist, but not wet. So this is going to help retain the moisture. The seeds should germinate in about 10 to 14 days. They need to be kept in a warm position, preferably with a temperature around about 20 degrees during the daytime. See if you can keep them warm at night as well. They don't need to be sitting out in the hot sun. They need to be in a shaded position. Every two days, just lift this up, check that the soil's still moist. If it's drying out, a little bit more water, just on the newspaper. It's a good idea to put the label in the seed tray so you know what you're growing. We'll take our cover that we use to firm the soil down with, sit it over the top, and there we have it. Put them in a shaded position where they're reasonably protected from the cold. We'll check them every second day just to make sure that they're moist. As soon as you see signs of growth, you need to take the paper off the top. And here we have our delphinium seeds just starting to sprout. So we've taken the paper off the top of these and just opened the lid up a little bit. In this tray here, we haven't had any good signs of germination yet, probably because it was in a slightly different position. So we'll leave the paper on here for another day or so. Once the seeds start to germinate, you do need to still keep them moist, but remember, never wet. When you're watering the seeds at this stage, we suggest that you use a mist sprayer so that you don't actually damage the seeds or wash them out of the soil. Once they get a little bit larger, we'll start to water them with some seaweed fertiliser, which will encourage root development. So here are our seedlings. They had a little bit of a setback because we had a series of really cold days. Now it's time to take them out of the seed raising mix, which doesn't have a lot of fertiliser in them, and pot them up into pots. We're using a normal potting mix and these little white bits here, there's a little bit of perlite mixed in just to add to the drainage. So the first thing you need to do is to make a little hole in the pot, round about so big. Now we're using our fingers for this, we're going gently underneath, lifting up as much of the roots and soil as we can. And just to give you an idea, this is what we've got here. A little ball of soil with the roots in it, ready to go into this hole. Down into the hole, and we've potted up our first seedling. The next thing to do is to water these in with something like a liquid seaweed fertiliser, and then a general purpose liquid fertiliser once a week for around about two or three weeks. Here are our delphinium plants a few weeks after we potted them up and you can see they're starting to put on some true leaves which is a sign that these seedlings are going to be fine. 
Once they get to this size, they're ready to plant out into the garden or you can plant them in a group in a larger container. And here we have some plants that we've grown on in a container to flowering size. And here are the flowers. So that's it for growing delphiniums from seed right through to flowers. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for regular updates on a whole range of garden plants, lots of perennials, and as always, good luck with your gardening.